Talking Movies. Jimmy Stewart, Western Movies. There is no list of Western movies without mentioning Jimmy Stewart, one of the greats of the golden Hollywood era, and a damn good dude. There is no denying the impact that the American Western had on movie history. The classic cowboy adventures started a pattern of romance, action, and dialogue that many Western films still use. James, Jimmy Stewart, affected the genre almost as much as the genre changed the movie industry. The nice guy image he cultivated in other movie genres disappeared when he started in westerns, playing a very different character. His tough but relatable characters made some of the best westerns ever made, setting a standard for all western films going forward. No list about westerns is complete without Stewart, so I made this list dedicated to Jimmy. Here are Jimmy Stewart's westerns. If you like this video, you can see all my other videos in my channel. The link is in the description. Now let's get to it. This is in chronological order. If I've missed any, please let me know in the comments. Apologies up front for any mispronunciations of names. We'll start with 1936's Rosemary. Jimmy had a small role in this one. An incognito opera singer falls for a policeman who has been assigned to track down her fugitive brother. Director, W.S. Van Dyke. Stars, Jeanette MacDonald, Nelson Eddy, Reginald Owen, Alan Jones, and James Stewart as John Flower. Next, Of Human Hearts, 1938. Ethan Wilkins is a poor and honest man who ministers to the human soul, while his son Jason yearns to be a doctor, helping people in this earthly realm. Director, Clarence Brown. Stars Walter Houston, James Stewart as Jason Wilkins, Gene Reynolds, Bula Bondi. Destry Rides Again, 1939. The opening states the story as suggested by Max Brand's novel, Destry Rides Again, but the movie is mostly different. It bears no resemblance to the 1932 adaptation of the novel starring Tom Nix, which is often retitled as Justice Rides Again. Deputy Sheriff Destry tames the town of Bottleneck, including saloon singer Frenchie. Director, George Marshall. Stars, Marlena Dietrich, James Stewart as Tom Destry Jr. Misha Orr, Charles Winninger. Going forward to the 50s now, with Winchester, 73, 1950. A cowboy's obsession with a stolen rifle leads to a bullet-ridden odyssey through the American West. Director. Anthony Mann, stars James Stewart as Lynn McAdam, Shelley Winters, Dan Daria, Stephen McNally. The 50s and 60s were the busiest time for Stewart in westerns. Next, Broken Arrow, 1950. Tom Jeffords tries to make peace between settlers and Apaches in Arizona Territory. Director, Delma Daves, stars James Stewart as Tom Jeffords. Jeff Chandler, Deborah Padgett, Basil Rusdale. I started into the canyons before the beginning. Next came Bend of the River, 1952, when a town boss confiscates homesteaders' supplies after gold is discovered nearby. A tough cowboy risks his life to try and get it to them. Director Anthony Mann stars James Stewart as Glyn McClintock, Rock Hudson, Arthur Kennedy. Julie Adams. Some night I will be. You'll be seeing Ben. The Naked Spur, 1953. A bounty hunter trying to bring a murderer to justice is forced to accept the help of two less than trustworthy strangers. Director Anthony Mann stars James Stewart as Howard Kemp, Janet Lee, Robert Ryan, Ralph Meeker. And in the meantime. The Far Country, 1954. A self-minded adventurer locks horns with a crooked lawman a while driving cattle to Dawson. Director, Anthony Mann. Stars, James Stewart as Jeff that? Webster. It can't make you Ruth understand, Cannabis. I don't need other people. Brown, I don't need help. I can take care of me. And in a pinch, I can take care of you too. 
The Man from Laramie, 1955. Newcomer, Will Lockhart, defies the local cattle baron and his sadistic son by working for one of their oldest rivals. Director, Anthony Mann. Stars, James Stewart as Will Lockhart, Anthony Kennedy, Donald Crisp, Kathy O'Donnell. Night Passage, 1957. A, a fired railroad man is rehired and trusted to carry a $10,000 payroll in secret, even though he is suspected of being connected to outlaws. Director, James Nielsen. Stars, James Stewart as, as Grant McLean, Audie Murphy, Dan Daria, Diane Foster. It's been a long time since you heard that word. you get that money even if you have to kill your own brother? Okay, we're in the 60s now with Two Road Together, 1961. A corrupt marshal is pressured yeah, by his army here. friend we'll into right. negotiating the release of white captives of the Comanches, God. but finds that their reintegration into below. society has its consequences. Director, John Ford. Stars, James Stewart as Marshal Guthrie McKay. Hang Richard Woodmark, Shirley here Jones, Linda Crystal. Maybe one of Stewart's most well-known movies, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962. A senator returns to a western town for a funeral of an old friend and tells the story of his origins. Director, John Ford. Stars, James Stewart as Ransom Stoddard. John Wayne, Vera Miles, Lee Marvin. How the West Was Won, 1962. A family saga covering several decades of westward expansion in the 19th century, including the Gold Rush, the Civil War, and the building of the railroads. Directors, John Ford, Henry Hathaway, George Marshall, Richard Thorpe. Stars, James Stewart as Linus Rawlings, John Wayne, Gregory Peck, Henry Fonda. Cheyenne Autumn, 1964. The Cheyenne tired of broken US government promises, head for their ancestral lands, but a sympathetic cavalry officer is tasked to bring them back to their reservation. Director, John Ford. Stars, Richard Widmark, Carol Baker, Carl Malden, Sal Minio, James Stewart as White Earp. Shenandoah, 1965. During the Civil War, a Virginian father and his family vow to remain neutral but one of the sons is captured by Union soldiers, sending the farmer to his rescue. Director, Andrew V. McLaughlin. Stars, James Stewart as Charlie, Doug McClure, Glenn Corbett, Patrick Wayne. The Rare Breed, 1966. An English woman and her daughter enlist the aid of a cowboy to try and get their hardy hornless bull to mate with the Longhorns of Texas but have to overcome greedy criminals and the natural elements. Director, Andrew V. McLaughlin. Stars, James Stewart as Sam Bulldog Burnett. Maureen O'Hara, Brian Keith, Juliet Mills. Fire Creek, 1968. A peace-loving, part-time sheriff in a small town of Fire Creek must take a stand when a gang of vicious outlaws take over his town. Director, Vincent McEverty. Stars James Stewart as Johnny Cobb, Henry Fonda, Inga Stevens, Gary Lockwood. The last of his westerns in the 60s, Bandolero, 1968. Mace Bishop, James Stewart, masquerades as a hangman in order to save his outlaw brother, D, Dean Martin, from the gallows. Runs to Mexico, chased by Sheriff July Johnson's George Kennedy's posse, and fights against Mexican bandits. Director, Andrew V. McLaughlin. Stars, James Stewart as Mace Bishop, Dean Martin, Raquel Welsh, George Kennedy. We're coming to the last few Western movies Stewart made now. The Cheyenne Social Club, 1970. An aging cowboy finds to his embarrassment that the successful business he has inherited from his brother is actually a house of prostitutes. Director, Gene Kelly. Stars, James Stewart as John O'Hanlon, Henry Fonda, Shirley Jones, Sue Ann Langdon. Joining John Wayne for his last Western 
in The Shootist, 1976. A dying gunfighter spends his last days looking for a way to die with a minimum of pain and a maximum of dignity. Director, Don Siegel. Stars, John Wayne, Lauren Bacall, Ron Howard, James Stewart as Dr. Hostetler. I'll add this last one just for fun, An American Tale, Fievel Goes West, 1991. Fievel's family decide to move out to the west, unaware that they are falling into a trap perpetrated by a smooth-talking cat. Directors, Phil Nibblink, Simon Wells, stars, James Stewart as the voice of Wiley, John Cleese, Amy Irving, Philip Glasser. Again, apologies for any mistakes with mispronunciations of names. I'm doing my best. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. They help me a lot. Also hit the notification button to get my new videos. Bye for now.